Hey everyone, welcome to Empower Team Monday Night Call. Um, I am Natalie Dolan, and I am, and I'm going to start by sharing off, uh, sharing with some, sharing about some products tonight. Um, and Natalie Borges is going to be leading us in a writing workshop. So super excited about that. I got a chance to look over all of the content and the preparation for this writing workshop, and it's just so good. Um, so you guys are going to be really blessed by that. Um, uh, especially because writing is just, it's a really important, um, skill that you learn over the years, um, of doing this business. So, um, the sooner you can start refining those skills, the better. Um, so first of all, I meant to grab my little thing of collagen, um, and I forgot, but I want to talk to you guys a little bit about, our collagen. Um, when we had our leader meeting at the beginning of the month, we were like, okay, um, what, what product spotlights do we want to take? And, um, time before, did we talk about, we talked about ease last time. And, um, cause I, I love ease and ease is, we all love ease and it's a, an amazing product. Um, for detox. And we spoke all about that, but this week I want to talk about collagen because collagen is a really big seller. Collagen is really, really popular right now. Um, just, you know, I'm sure if you're on social media, you see all sorts of people sharing about collagen and it's really become a staple for people, a staple for people who don't even, um, really supplement, um, because they care, they might not care about, you know, they might not care about gut health or things like that, but a lot of people really, really care about collagen and our collagen is very special. So, um, I've seen a lot about liquid collagen and people talking about how liquid collagen is, um, you know, where it's at, but what I want you guys to know and to be sure of that just because our collagen isn't liquid doesn't mean that it's not extremely high quality. Um, the molecules in our, in our uh, collagen, are, they come from bovine, grass-fed bovine collagen and grass, and then, um, and marine, and marine collagen. <laughs> so, um, so it's two kinds of collagens and they are the most bioavailable form, okay? Not only that, our collagen has, um, prebiotics, which help with the gut. Um, collagen is amazing for gut health. Number one, um, it has biotin, which is amazing for hair, skin, nails, all of that. Um, it has a soup, an antioxidant superfood blend. Um, it has enzymes that help slow the breakdown of our collagen, um, beauty vitamins, A and C, and we have clinically, clinically proven results. Um, and so this, I mean, this collagen, it helps with, obviously ours is a beauty complex. So it's so much more than just flat out collagen. This is a complex with multiple different, um, features in it. Right. And so when we're offering people collagen, we're offering them so much more than just one product. They're getting a whole lot in, in just one product and it is bioavailable. You will see a difference. This, this will help with joints, um, tendons. Um, this helps with, um, you know, like I said, with, uh, you know, healing the gut, it's going to help your skin. It has, um, ceramides in it, which help with, um, which help with, uh, you know, plumper, healthier, more hydrated skin. Um, I know, um, for me, I have been taking collagen. I started taking collagen around the same time that I started getting laser hair removal and y'all, my hair will not stop growing back. You can't even laser away the hair. It is that effective. You guys, I have to stop taking it for a little bit. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. It is that good. I have had like 10 sessions and the, it will not be beat by the laser. That is how good our collagen is. So when you give that to people, like all the baby hairs are real, the skin is like, the skin is better. We have amazing before and afters. And so just know that this is something to be talking about and to be posting about and sharing about because people are looking for a very high quality collagen. So ours is amazing. 
go out and sell some collagen because people are already buying it and people need it desperately. So why not buy it from us, especially with as high quality as it is? Okay, that's, um, uh, I will stop there and I will let Natalie take over for our writing workshop. Hi everyone, I'm excited about this. Um, so like Natalie said at the beginning of the call, um, this is actually very, very important. If you're asking yourself, well, why do we need to focus on writing or why are, why is this important? Big part of your business is writing up quality posts. Um, and yes, some we can copy and paste because there's so many that have already been written. And I'm so grateful for those people that write those amazing posts and we can copy and paste them. Um, but when you start sharing your story and your words and the uniqueness of who you are, that builds trust with your people, with your prospects, with your the people that are watching you. Um, and so I'm going to touch through a few things. Um, and I am... I'm really, really hoping that if there's, if you feel a little bit insecure about your writing, that after this, you feel more confident and that you own your story and that you can go out there and write your own content and feel confident that this is, this is what's going to take you to the next level. This is what's going to help build even more trust with your followers. Um, okay. So the importance of uniqueness, you are all, everyone that's on this call here is unique. There is no one else like you on social media. We have so many influencers, so many people writing up all this stuff, but no one can be you. So be relatable, be relatable, be unique, but also be relatable. Being relatable um, is a, has a lot to do with connection. And if you're on book club, you know we're reading through this stuff about connection and vulnerability and it's all amazing and we need it because that's what's gonna connect us to people and we are in a people business. You can't get away from it. We're talking to people every single day. Um, and so using phrases like, I've been feeling excited, stressed, relieved, like let people know what you're feeling because that feeling is what's going to help connect people to you. People will gravitate towards that when you share something like that. Also, like I said before, know your story, know your testimony. So everything that I'm going to be sharing tonight is going to be for Plexus posts, but also for personal posts. Okay. So I, they're not, I'm not separating the two necessarily because I think Owning your story, owning your plexus story is important. So I've had people tell me, oh, I don't have a good enough testimony. Like I don't have, you know, it doesn't matter. There's still something that drew you to plexus. Share that, own that. And this is also for your personal post, your personal posts about like tonight, I wrote about my son today because I almost lost my mind at karate tonight. So own your story. That's going to be really, really important. Um, I think something else too that I was talking with Natalie this morning was, you know, not being vague in your storytelling, but really, really digging deep and letting people into that. So for example, if I wrote today in my post, it's been a hard day, it's been a hard day and it sucks. People are not going, that's not inspiring anybody. That's not helping anybody relate to me. Sure, maybe somebody else's day is not good, but it does not add value and it's, it's not clear, okay? You're not showing your heart and so people aren't going to feel like they can trust you, okay? People trust us when we open our hearts up. They can see us for who we are and therefore trust is built that way. Um, so when you don't share your heart, people won't share theirs. Okay. What we do requires people to share their hearts. Like think about all the people that have told you how sick they are, how they're not feeling good, how they have hormone issues. They don't want to have sex with their husbands because their hormones are jacked up. Like I've had people tell me very intimate things. I don't know if you all can relate to that. Yes. If we're talking to people, people are telling us really intimate things. When we share our hearts, 
people will share theirs. When you ask them for their health goals and their issues, they're going to tell you because they know that you are trustworthy. So this is why all of this is really important. Um, as a business owner, you need to do everything you can to communicate in a compelling manner. God, there's like a bug in here. In a compelling manner to your clients and potentials. Um, so always ask questions. Um, you know, in your in your post, that's very intriguing and, and engaging when you can ask a question. Um, and another thing I wanted to also, you know, add was always ask yourself before you're going to post something, how is what I'm sharing benefiting the reader? If you feel like it cannot, there's nothing that you're saying that's going to benefit someone, it's probably not worth sharing. If it's negative, it's probably not worth sharing. If you're not adding value, it's probably not worth sharing. Um, another thing I wanted to briefly touch on was using active voice when you're writing. Um, I tend to sometimes use passive voice. Um, so instead of saying, for example, monkeys adore ban adores bananas, right? Let's just use that as an example. Passive voice would be bananas are adored by monkeys. So instead of saying, you know, uh, we won the trophy, passive voice says we were awarded the championship trophy. I'm not sure if that's making sense, but owning the active voice is going to be very important too, because you're going to get right to the point. Um, we know on Instagram, there is a limit on how many words you can use. If you're a writer like me, then you have definitely gone over that limit. And Instagram has said, you're writing too dang much. You need to shorten this. <laughs> That's been me many times. Um, so let that be your guide. If you are, if you are at that limit, that means you're probably writing too much. I saw this thing online where it said that, um, a happy place is about three paragraphs, is about 120 words. Um, so just kind of keep, Facebook will not limit you. So just be mindful of that. Um, but passive voice employs a third party or um, an unknown agent. So it's kind of like, it's not bringing clarity. So we want to be clear in what we are saying so that we're not just using filler words. Um, like I said, I, I, am, I am guilty of that. I can use a lot of filler words. And so just getting down to your story is super important. Um, so um, we want to open up our posts with... Um, open our posts with a strong first sentence um, uh, or a question, something intriguing that's going to allow somebody and give themselves a permission to keep on reading. They're gonna tell themselves, it's gonna be good, I'm gonna keep on reading. Um, if you know Cody Helmer, she does an amazing job at that. Emily Granat, amazing job at that. I mean, it's like first sentence in and you're like, I need to keep reading this, this is gonna be good. Um, an example of that, from Cody, I don't know if you guys saw um, on our team, she, you know, she had a, um, like a spot on her skin. And she said she literally started her post with cancer. And she said, I don't want it in me on me or near me. But here I am, like many others face to face with the possibility. Like you're gonna keep reading, right? Because she didn't just say, hey, guys, I found the uh, you know, concerning spot on my skin, you know, I mean, not that that wouldn't intrigue all of us because we all care, but that right there drew in a lot of people, right? They, they wanted to know more what's going on. It's intriguing. Um, Emily Granat does an amazing job at this too. So go ahead. And if you're not already following these people, go ahead and follow them because they're amazing storytellers. Um, so here's the breakdown of what we want it to look like when you are writing a post. So if you want to write this down, this would be the time. One, you want to make clear the situation or the problem. So here's the situation. Here is my problem. That's how we, that's going to be like your first part. Okay. Two. 
how I am solving it or how I solved it. Okay. So it doesn't mean that you have to, you can only share things that you are already figured out 100%. You found the solution for it. Um, so how am I solving it? Because that's going to add tremendous value. That's going to be your middle part. How am I solving this? How I did solve it or how I did solve it. Three, this is what I learned. So this is that inspiration piece that I hope that we can all draw from because that's what's going to set you apart. Okay, when people are scrolling Facebook, that's what's going to set you apart. And when you are set apart, people are going to be interested in what you're doing. So they're going to want whatever you have. You're inspiring. You're encouraging. There's something about you that's different. Um, they're going to want. They're going to want to take what you take. They're going to want to listen to what you're listening to. They're going to read. They're going to want to read the books that you're reading. Um, that's what happens when you really master this. Um, so this is what I learned. You're adding value. And then number four, here's what's in it for you. Here's what's in it for them, for the reader. This is why this part is so important. Why is anything that we share on social media for other people? You want to make that clear at the end, okay? So if it's a Plexus post, you want to bring it back to this can really help you. And this is why, okay? Because remember, this is not, it's not just about us. We are in a people business. Um, so I think that all of this is easy to overlook because of course you need to be doing your IPA, you need to be working your business, but this is a big part of how we build trust on social media. Um, so be unique, write consistent content that gives your followers a deeper insight of who you are, who are you? right? Because that's how people are going to trust you, who you are and your brand. I mean, this is not so much about branding, but you know, what are you, what are you about? And this is why writing is so important because that this is what's going to tell people um, what you're all about. Always cultivate creativity in every aspect of your social media writing. Be creative. Think about, you know, what, any hobbies you have, or, you know, just list about three things that you're just, that you're into. Doesn't have to be a whole lot, but really hone into that. Um, pray to God for creativity in those areas. Um, if you feel like you struggle, you struggle with grammar or, you know, you're struggling in anything like that, I encourage you, please, there's YouTube videos out there that you can read, that you can look into to give you that confidence to just let yourself write. I personally love writing. I've always loved writing. Um, but I know that if this is something that you're just not into it, how it can be a little intimidating to come up with like your own posts and things like that. But this is, this is very important. If you feel like it's more of a grammar issue or more of like bringing sentences together, I encourage you, like there's so many videos out there on YouTube that you can, um, you can, you can hone in on and um, get really good info from. Also content planning. You know, we always talk about how important this is like planning out your post, maybe on a Sunday, you want to plan out, you know, I don't know, I want to plan out for two posts a day or however long you have just to planning in it, planning it out in advance and not just, you know, cause sometimes you're just not feeling inspiration that, I mean, that's just the truth. Like I, I didn't wake up today feeling inspired to be honest, you know, of like writing this super inspiring post. All I had was karate today and that was a nightmare. So I wrote about that and that was cool, but planning your content, especially your Plexus post is going to be really important. Um, so I, this pretty much concludes what I, what I had Now, If you want to add anything, please feel free. Um, I think this is just, this is something that the more you practice, the more confident you'll be. And the more confident you be, you'll be, um, the more that shows in your writing. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much, Nat. Yeah. I mean, I think a big part of learning how to become a better writer, I, I think 
realizing that it's an important, very important part of um, what we do. Um, the more you read posts, the more you'll know how to construct a post. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and yeah, so that that's one, but it's something that you have to practice, right? So when I first started um, right, you know, doing Plexus, my, I mean, when I look back on my first post, it was this one giant, like there was no, you know, it was all over the place. It was just one giant ongoing massive paragraph. <laughs> um, and so I think that breaking, um, when you're writing something, knowing how to like break it down into smaller chunks makes it, um, you know, it makes it more, um, readable for your audience, it doesn't look so big. It makes, it's like, oh, I can read these little chunks, right? And so that's really important. And I think when you're uh, drawing somebody in, knowing how to break it down, um, I always, like Natalie was saying, I always try to have like something, a hook at the very beginning. I think that's super important. Um, and then, yeah, just breaking it down without being too long. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much, um, that's pretty much it. Learning how to story tell um, is is important. And so um, evaluating in this business, it's just a, an ongoing refining process. And so, you know, at so many different times um, in my business, I've had to evaluate my effectiveness in different areas. Um, how are my posts? How are, how's my messaging? How's my, you know, and so it's just a little bit at a time, you know, and so you can dive into these little areas and just refine. And if you do a little bit every day, um, refining in one area, um, then it'll over time that will compound to make to make a lot more progress. So keep writing today. I was like, I knew I wanted to write something and I didn't like feel like, I was like, what, you know, I didn't have the inspiration, but I just started writing about where I'm at in my life right now and bringing people into where I'm at, you know? Um, and, you know, that was a blessing to people. I got, you know, people were like really resonated with people, you know, and I didn't have, to, I don't have to be on top of the world. You don't have to be on top of the world to, you know, just be bringing amazing, you know, content to the world, just share your life and share where you're at and just be real, um, and share your values. Cause people are going to be attracted to your values. Um, and that's how you'll find your people, the people, um, that's who you're looking for people who are with you in your values. So and yeah. I wanted to just say one more thing, like, own your story and just know that your voice is so important. Like what you have to share, what you have to say, your experiences, your life experiences, they're so important. And you can be blessing so many people with what you have to share, the things you've been through. There's beautiful ways to share those things, even if they're really deep things. Um, so I encourage you just to really own your story and own your experiences um, because this is our impact. This is the impact that like, it's like, it's, it's amazing when, when, you know, I'll have, like Natalie said, people messaging me, you know, it, it's, it's really, really powerful when you own your story and own the things that have happened to you. And um, so, yeah, just wanted to emphasize that, like you guys, your voice is so, so important. 100%. I couldn't agree more. So thank you so much, Nat. And you guys go read Natalie's posts and you'll learn, you'll learn, you know, take from her, um, some writing skills and, um, yeah, apply it to yourself. So, all right, y'all have a wonderful night. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you on the next call.